Okay, I just wanted to do a really quick video about this. Sorry, it's so dark. I'm in my room right now. Um, been working on this uh, old computer that I threw together for a friend. It's got a a uh, Pentium D930 in it, dual core, overclocked to three gigahertz, and uh, for the longest time, it was really, really loud for him. And I didn't have an aftermarket cooler. Well, I bought a Hyper 212 Evo. And, uh, it was still really loud. I'm sure you can hear it kicking up and down. I've got large FFT Prime 95 running in the background right now. But, uh, yeah, this is what I'm running on the CPU right now. It's spiking up to 60 every so often, but usually it runs 58, 59. Uh, but I'm not using regular thermal compound right now. I'm actually using anti seize. Thread the okay. Yeah. It actually works. Don't know if you can see the part number right there. 13010. Bought it from O'Reilly's. Um, for doing lug nuts. Uh, I got sick of that. Radio Shack crap that doesn't actually cool anything, which is what I had on there before, which is why it was so noisy. Uh, this stuff doesn't cool anything. This thing was always running really, really hot. In fact, while running it, I ended up checking things. Um, yeah, I've definitely noticed a difference. Um, so, yeah, you see all those guys running around doing the uh, the tests for finding what can work besides regular thermal compound on their computers using things like toothpaste and silicone and all kinds of things that just don't really have a lot of work, uh, a lot of thought put behind it uh, for what they would cool. This stuff here actually works really really well I don't know why I think it's the copper in it could be the fact that it's you know designed to resist heat up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit if you could see that it wasn't so grainy but yeah my computer is running well my spare computer my testing computer is running let's see what would it be about four to five degrees cooler using bolt anti-seize, thread anti-seize for, for cars uh, as a thermal compound for the CPU. So, uh, if you're ever stuck and you work on cars and you really need to get a computer going and you don't have a thermal compound, give it a try. It actually works. It might probably, it would probably work better with a better cooler or a better mounting force. You know, a socket 775 motherboard isn't the best and it just barely fits inside this, uh, NZXT Source 210. Uh, I can I can still close the side panel. I just can't because I've got it sitting on another computer right now. But uh, yeah, it it does cool the CPU. So if again, if you're ever stuck and you don't have anything except anti seize with copper in it, give it a shot. Because yeah, for the past hour this has been running. Uh, I did idle test first. That's why this hasn't been running for an hour. But, uh, Prime 95 hasn't been running it for an hour. But yeah, it, it, it apparently works. And I don't know why my CPU keeps doing that, where it cycles down and cycles back up. Uh, sometimes it'll drop to negative 65C, something like that. But otherwise it's, yeah, there you go, negative 67C. I don't understand why it's doing that. But, uh, 57 to 60C, or 58 to 60C, uh, when it's running normally, and I don't have a newer computer that I'm willing to test this on at the moment, uh, so that's the best I can do, but yeah. Anti-seize thread, uh, thread lubricant does work as a thermal compound, as long as you, you know, have the right one. Like I said, the stuff with the copper in it, you can buy out of Riley's in a big jar. Give it a shot. It's cheaper, it's a lot cheaper than most thermal compounds.